Yo, what up? Stay off the internet. Here. <laughs> Welcome back. back. Here. We here. Yeah, man. Fresh off of um very, very, very prominent episode last week. Right? Indeed. Oh, doing man. some we doing numbers on that one. And we appreciate y'all viewing and liking our shit, sharing our shit, commenting on our shit. What up, Josh? Subscribe. What up? Subscribe. Obama. Obama. <laughs> Gail. Man, what's us. up with y'all? What's man, up, Bart? We on the new set, man. Living the dream, man. Welcome y'all Enjoying, to the new set, man. Enjoying uh, the new ambiance. One of our sponsors hooked us up with a new studio. You know what I'm saying? Came through. I was like, so we here. We got a jam-packed show for y'all today, man. And uh, Like I told y'all, my life didn't pick back up. I'm back in these crazy events. Back doing the unknown. <laughs> yeah, man. So I got invited to a uh, Pilates by one of my homegirls. Uh-oh. A Pilates. Come right? On. Hey, hey, Draco. You ain't had no yoga pants on, did you? I might, I may, I may have or may have Younger not. pants with no drawers. <laughs> living a wild, no living a wild life. I may, it's a wild life, my boy. So look, man, I get invited, right? Hey, hey, yo, you know, I got a Pilates uh, function. You want to come, come out, you know, support? Yeah, of course. It's going to be booties there. It's going to be booties in the tight shorts. Booties Yoga booties. Big body right? bitches. Love, big, bo- love it. <laughs> big body bitches. Love it. <laughs> of course I'm coming. Show up, pull up. Pull yeah. all the way up. Pull up on me. Pull up on me. <laughs> so, yo, look. I'm there, right? Mm-hmm. So, contrary to what I thought, because I thought I was going to see some rotund, did not. Mm-hmm. It was all flat backs in that motherfucker, bro. I was terrible. <laughs> it was uh, all the people that you usually see walking terrible, around the mall. Most terrible decision <laughs> I ever made in my fucking life, life, bro. I, I might as well have it with the bingo. <laughs> A lot of soccer moms. I might as well have with a bingo with my shit. grandma, bro. This is stupid. Nothing bro. but personality. In there. <laughs> Full of <Flat>. personality. <laughs> Flat backs, man. So, what I do? Yikes. You know what Get you my do. ass on the internet. Because what else I'm looking at? I ain't got nothing else to look at. So, y'all don't have to do it, man. So, look. Saving lives. Scrolling. Seeing your boy Moneybag Yo mm. viral. Right. So, apparently. <laughs> He was Alert. dating uh, Ari, Ari Fletcher. She bad too. It's like thirty Aries, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, I can't. Everybody keep up, Ari bro. these days. I can't. I can't keep up. It's like Ari's and Aiden. It's like a million that name of them. Just blew up out of nowhere. It's crazy, bro. So he dating Ari Fletcher. Um, shout out to her. I don't know her, but shout out to her. <laughs> shout out Ari. Hmm. So look, they're dating. He gets. He gifts her on her birthday, um, a vehicle, a Lamborghini truck. Okay. Right. Yeah. And they called the year is the Eurus, right? Eurus? The Eurus? Am I tripping? Huh? The, the Lambo truck. Is that the name? Am I tripping? I have no I'm idea. I'm probably tripping. Don't listen I to me. I ain't got Lamborghini truck money right now, but it's coming. Don't worry about it. So you I don't know, know the names. I don't even pay attention. So look. <laughs> so look, though. Yep. So he gifted her a Lambo truck. Mm-hmm. They break up. Yep. God. Now you got to get that motherfucker back. Oof. Man, this man. Elbow dropped off the top rope with this shit. Like, <laughs> bam, bitch, get that shit back. So he kept a spare key? No, nah, he just stopped paying the payments. It's like, yo, y'all can go Ew. circle the block, pick that shit up. Ew. Ew. What Yikes. are y'all thoughts, man? Are y'all, are y'all taking back gifts after y'all break up? In that particular case, if you take it, if you still making payments on it, hell yeah, I Suck. gotta get that back. Sucker duck insurance. Hell <laughs> Suck a duck insurance. <laughs> Are you a victim? Are you <laughs> Suck a duck insurance. Bart, you taking gifts back when you gift? So, in, uh, in most cases, I would say that that's some lame shit to do, right? You know, in, in most cases, if you come back after you've already gifted something to somebody and then try to take it back, yeah, that's, that's some wild shit. Like, why it's would you do lame, that? But that's a Lambo truck. However, <laughs> the, the Lamborghini Urus. Is uh, at a starting price of two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, they're gonna have to run that right back. Run that's, it back. Uh, that's not gonna work for me. So let me break. And, it, and my man probably had it on a lease. You know what I'm saying? Of course. So sucker, yeah. that's the sucker I'm, duck insurance. I'm, I'm, I'm out of. I'm so yeah, I got to get that back. When you're in a situation where you're dating uh, one of these rock stars, if you will, we know that. Any gift you get, for the most case, is with a contingency. This is part of the benefits package you get for letting me blow that back out, if you will. Pretty much. And once 
the blowing of the backest is <laughs> not blowing on of there. the backest. So guess what? <laughs> Once that's Yo. not, this is like if you stop. So he's paying. He pretty much giving these gifts to pay for something. This is part yeah. of the membership, like Sam's Club. Yeah, your Sam's Club membership went out, which mine did recently. Oh, I shit. pulled up to the gas pump. Thought I was gonna get some cheap gas. Guess Let's what? The hell with you. Mm-hmm. You're not, not a member. Denied. So guess what? You don't pay for the membership with some ass. That's crazy. You don't get with the membership. some ass. <laughs> nah, feel, hear me though. Hear me out though. Who whose name was the car in? Obviously his. If it's in his name, you was expecting him to just See, keep making he payments. See, like he did, we threw, bro. and you just you want me to keep? Because it's a lot of it's a lot of people online like going crazy on them and shit. But they also got to understand like. Them, them social media celebrity relationships, sometimes it should be made up and it be for oh, clout. Facts. Mm. So, of course, I'm going to show you a Lambo truck. And like, remember, he went, through, he went through back and forth with K. Michelle yeah. about this shit because K. Michelle was like, nigga, you leasing this shit. He like, no, nah, I bought this shit. Whatever. So, what, obviously, what it matter? obviously, it comes out he was leasing it. Be- well, but that was smart, though. For it to be repossessed, it yeah, had to have been leased. Exactly. So, what he did was they broke up. He stopped paying it. Stopped paying the note. If she wanted to keep it, man, Ari ain't broke. She could have paid that shit and kept that shit. She ain't. But it wasn't in her name. You ever seen you, y'all? Y'all know how them Jamaicans be at that party. You ever seen a Jamaican party? Oh, they be doing some. Would they be putting? The, would they be putting a the bitch on the table and they climb up on a fucking ladder and run it? <laughs> no, jump off the fence, break the fucking table. They be right. out here that's looking like uh, they be out here looking like the Hardy Boys. <laughs> man, that's what he, oh, he did that oh, to her figuratively or actually did that to her. With the Lambo truck, the <laughs> repo, <laughs> figuratively. Bitch, I ain't having so this. I, so I need a little more context, y'all know. What's me. Up? I need to, I need the picture to be painted fully. Was she in the crib minding her business, <laughs> and all of a sudden she hear yo, beep, beep, big tow trucking, beep, <laughs> just back right up to her car. She, uh oh, what the fuck? What the, why the, why the fuck my, they in my, my house? Big tow trucking. Uh, uh, I got the keys right here. Uh-uh. What's up, girl? Miami tow. What's that fucking girl name? Bernice. Bernice pulled up with that fucking Bernice. big ass truck. Yikes. That's funny, bro. BBL's trucking pulled up. <laughs> Back that shit right up to the whip. Oh, That's fucking man. funny, bro. It's so crazy. look, so we ain't. I like to sum that up, man. If it's a small gift, I ain't taking that shit. Hey, like, yeah, some bro. shoes, some jewelry, something. Keep that shit. Whatever, bro. But a Lambo truck. We might have talk about that. I need that. Might have talk about that. So yeah, some shoes you can have. I can't. Yeah, keep them, keep them Jordan ones, baby. Keep them. And That's also, for you. Also, one so last remember question. the times we had. How long was the time <laughs> from when he gave her the gift and when she broke up with him? Because you got 14 days. Well, I think it, I think they've been broke up for like two or three months, something like that. Oh, so she still paid had it for like, two, three months? Because you know, the, the repo ain't going to come until like two and a half, well, three months. Well, there's a grace period also with a breakup. He's thinking, I got a chance. Let me go ahead and finish this last couple of things I got to do. I still got a chance to get in there. And once that window was over, he was like, I'm not going to be getting it back. Well, well, fuck it. Get my truck back. Well, I don't know the ins and outs of their breakup, so I don't know who I'm not paying was. a note for a woman I don't speak to. I'm sorry <laughs> if it's my name it's on the, on it's the lease. Crazy. That's right. my car. You just drove it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Lambo trucks and uh, all that shit is kryptonite for these celebrity couples. Because Clearly. We, that's you, not the first you, you person. You can't get no BBL shit. back, though. You <laughs> ain't get no BBL, Can't man. get that body back, baby. Hey, you ain't get, get that, that body back, back bro. Get Let this be a lesson to you, ladies. Me. And speaking of Make niggas, sure you buy your body speak- <laughs> and not your whip. <laughs> Make sure you buy your body. Don't lease your body. Y'all leasing bodies? Are they ah, leasing damn. bodies too? Dang. I mean, how would if you, that? If you, you, if you really think about it, that's, that's a little crazy. more metaphorical. Can you imagine yes. sitting on a donut at work after you just got that <laughs> thing put in? And then they knock on the window. You know, a big toe, Bob, <laughs> big toe trucking. <laughs> wow. Man, that's funny, bro. Oh, we're looking for Keisha. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of kryptonite, though. Speaking of kryptonite, though. It's, it's, n- n- it's a nigga's kryptonite right now. That got these niggas in a fucking chokehold, bro. Oh, shit. Got these niggas in the, the most craziest of chokeholds. Tell them about Fonny it. Willis. Mm. Atlanta's uh district attorney. Gotcha. She got these niggas Didn't in there. Oh, Lord, bro. <laughs> Who it's, hurt her? Bro, I don't know where they made her at or nothing, but she so after after the viral shit with Young Thug and YSL, the Rico. She got Rico's coming for days on these I niggas. Like, it's feet on their neck. So, the, the drug rich gang of Atlanta, they've, they've been accused of 
um, home invasions, mm-hmm. murders, mm-hmm. kidnapping, Kidding. and basically bragging about it in the music. So she comes back and says, well, if y'all going to commit the crimes, Brag about it on music. I'm coming for your ass. I don't give a fuck who mad. If y'all don't like it, get the fuck out of my county. I mean, that's kind of like, look, you know, if you already telling on yourself and we got the evidence, you telling specifically the evidence we need. Because mm-hmm. who the fuck does the it? You just, Cause, we got one. We got one. Because back in the day, niggas was lying, bro. We ain't, we ain't telling. They ain't telling the exact shit they was doing. They, they, they didn't really know what she, happened. They just knew kind of what happened. They say the whole detail. I, exactly. I don't know word for word, but she definitely broke one of their lyrics down and was like, yeah, we know because that shit really happened. They're doing a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, interpretations in court these days mm. of, uh, of rap lyrics, which is sad, man. I don't think rap lyrics should be able to be used in court. Um, I do think that should be, there should be some level of separation there. However, at the exact same time, y'all gotta stop like telling me so, bro. No. That shit is not player. That shit is not. That shit is not street. That shit is everything but my G. Like every every real nigga that I've ever met in my life didn't have to talk about it, bro. Every nigga in Atlanta that done rapped about this shit, looking <laughs> over their shoulder right now, cause she literally worse than like she got these niggas in a hole worse than. Like oh, fucking man right. bags and skinny jeans. Like she got these niggas like this. Cause she tell them like I'm coming. And y'all steady rapping about this shit. That's the thing. You giving you don't slow up. Oh, yeah. Could you imagine? You snitching. You could snitching. You, you snitching. One of, your songs, one of your songs take off, right? And you at some little concert and you performing it. And all of a sudden you just see in the back, B E A. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see, you see somebody in the crowd. Neck, you see somebody in the crowd with some handcuffs like this. <laughs> Come on, get, come, on, let you come on down, brother. Come on down, brother. We let you come home, You are baby. next up on The Price is Right, motherfucker. Right. I hope you like PB and J, brother, because <laughs> that's what you're going to be eating downtown. Nah, baby, put PB some money on my no books. They got, they got Cheetos in the joint. You bugging, baby. You bugging. They making them, them, them jail sprays. Y'all ever seen they them yeah, jail nigga, sprays? Pizza. Some Swiss rolls, some Man. motherfucking Cheetos. Boy, they be Bro, getting to it. that shit is... <laughs> niggas be Disgusting. full. Niggas be full chefs. They'll make a fucking panini, panini in the pri- in prison, <laughs> oh, t- bro. bro it's crazy. With a fucking iron and like a fucking bitch. Niggas be getting Man, to it, bro. I seen the video. They was cooking. They, <laughs> they turned. The, they it. turned a, a fucking metal step into a grill. Did you see that, bro? That shit was these crazy. Niggas like, these niggas get to it. These niggas are top chef in that bitch, bro. Like, in the fuck? How you go from okay? being a five star hardcore criminal to a goddamn engineer in prison? They even got salt bay in that bitch sprinkling shit in that motherfucker. Like, baby, fuck? it's all application. <laughs> you gotta so apply got your yo. mind. Yo, to so apply your time. grind. So speak, speaking of niggas, kryptonite. Charleston White. Charleston White is these niggas kryptonite because he got these niggas spooked. He getting niggas locked up left and right. Hey. Is he baiting? Nigg- he baiting niggas into you know getting locked up. Hey, I, all I gotta say is y'all need to appreciate Charleston while y'all got him because. That nigga gonna get Expiration whacked. date. He, he gonna get whacked. He don't come across one real the nigga. Expiration date. Who 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 does not give a fuck? Bro. That nigga. And it's, it's gonna be his day. The, the sad thing about it, when you create, and I ain't gonna be happy when it happens. I don't no, want to no, see. No, I, I don't no like black. He's death, like man. some two percent milk. Death. That nigga gonna expire. And I, I don't I, want black. That real quick. <laughs> Is that the prior form? His skill I do is, not is advocate that the great value. Yeah. <laughs> the great value. You got about two days on that yeah. bus. Yeah. Hey. hey, you bugging, shit baby. Coming, my my great value go most. all the way through. It's really just after that. Most, she must got a cold refrigerator. She, hell yeah. My shit cold. Ice cold, baby. Ice, <laughs> Ice cold. cold. <laughs> now, Charles White about to get whacked. Like, can Damn. you imagine Come on, creating hey. ops? You don't even know who the ops are. They ain't anybody. And he be starting shit. But they say when they nigga roll around, they think it's like really the police for real. Cause he be, be cool having, like, Don't don't put that out there, bro. I, Cause I, I believe in, the nigga entertaining as fuck. But now when you start getting niggas locked up, I don't like, know. That's bro. a problem. I that's a, I that, gotta, that, oh my god. He recorded a, the call of him calling in. <laughs> <laughs> but is that? But was that real, bro? He said, "Yeah, I like to report." <laughs> but is that <laughs> real or is that content? Bam. Niggas it's, be playing a role. Bro, bro, Both. Bro, bro. Niggas That's be playing why, a role. I've heard some Both. Of That's why it's dangerous. Says, I think he wants them to, to whack him off. 
That's hey, why. Yo. <laughs> Bart, that's why hey, this wait, shit. Last time, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, yo. <laughs> hey, this nigga, last episode, this nigga said, I want to be whacked <laughs> off. Goddamn. God damn. Somebody hey, whack me off. Somebody whack me off. Last episode, we said, as men, we don't have to say pause anymore. Hell no. I didn't say pause, nigga. I don't play that game. Pause. I just said, hey, yo. Like, you do it a lot. What the fuck? Get whacked off. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you could have just said, whack him. <laughs> or awful <laughs> nigga said whack off. That's that's a whole different thing. That's a new shit. That's, that's a, new a whole shit. That's different gonna be on thing. T-shirt. You just made a t-shirt. So. Oh shit! You can't that's say like, whack that's like whack, that's off. whack off. Whack him off. You can't say he's gonna whack him off. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Oh uh, shit! Like, did he kill him or did he whack him off? That's funny. As fuck, God bro. damn! Did he whack him off? Hold it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all no, wait, whack him up. We're waiting on the autopsy right now. <laughs> there was a lot of fluid on the scene. God damn it! And it wasn't blood. Yo. Nigga, it's like fucking like DNA. It's like them old tombstone commercials where niggas were like, "What do you want on your tombstone?" <laughs> Like, niggas, I'm trying to get whacked off go, before, be, before I see that tombstone where that. They go to detective. Oh, oh, they go to shit. detective. Detective show up on the scene. What kind of sick bastard are you? <laughs> wax I, on, wax on. I see pull up talking about. Oh, clearly he raped her. That's what happened. <laughs> he go, hey, Did you see the hey, semen he go, everywhere? He go, clearly he, go, he raped her. He go, he he raped her. Iced tea. He go, iced tea. I got, I got your iced tea. Yo, I pulled up to the scene. <laughs> Had to be some kind of sick bastard. <laughs> Yo! Yo! Niggas is always sick bastards with him. Niggas are Yo! always sick bastards. I have never seen anything quite like this. <laughs> Why is that nah, like nigga. This nigga? He literally always, Yo. he be the one, he be the one to say it when they always trying to figure out what happened. He, like, rape. he raped her. He, raped, he always he say that rape. part. That's his line. He raped her. I'm like, dang, cuz. Bro, you always know. though? Always, bro. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. That is aggressive. Ain't it, cra- ain't it crazy? And speaking of, because you know we've been oh talking about Soulja Boy too. You remember the fucking beef with Ice T and Soulja Boy? Yes. Soulja Boy told him to eat a bag of baby dicks. No, he told Soulja Boy to eat a bag of baby dicks. A baby dicks. You are a. He told it. You are a sick individual. He sir. said, "Man, you like eighty five years old, and you were supposed to be a gangster. And you playing a cop oh my every God. day on TV now." He said, "He hilarious. said, look, look at people, people up here dissing people with good jobs. It's that man got a good job, good job, bad job. regular <laughs> job where he playing a cop. Yeah, so so, and his so. daughter look just like you see his daughter. Nah, I ain't she seen like Ice T Junior. That's kind of weird. Crazy. I'm not gonna lie. With long hair, I don't That's, know. But I see so, had so, long so, hair, identical." I know, but if you think she hot, then what? Hot? No. That mean you want to smack. That mean you want to smack Ice T. <laughs> it mean it's a that's Ice T, and that's his little daughter, Peach T. That's hot tea. <laughs> <laughs> that's hot tea, nigga. I'm hot off tea. y'all, bro. It's not that no, hot. Man. Like that nigga. These guys are hilarious, bro. Uh, we definitely appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Like to remind mm-hmm. y'all to like our shit, share our shit. Yes, sir. Coming on our shit, and if mm-hmm. y'all just so happen to run into. Miss Obama or Gail or Oprah, any of them, pull them through. Pull them through. <laughs> pull right? them through. So we Patch like them on through a <laughs> Patch them on through. So we like to get into one of our favorite sections, viewer questions. Viewer questions today. Yeah. yeah. So our first viewer question. If two people are in a relationship and they have two different religious beliefs. Mm-hmm. Can that relationship be successful? How far on the spectrum are these different religious beliefs? Well, you could be a... Uh, talking about like Catholic versus like Southern Baptist. You could be a... <laughs> not as far as you would think, but carry yeah, on. Yeah, just anything. It don't really matter. Oh, um, you're talking about like Hindu. It could be that. And like atheist. Christian. It could be that. It could be that. It could be now atheist. That, might, that be, might be one of the biggest gaps. Yeah. When you, the one you just mentioned. But the Hindu and then atheist. Yeah, but but if, you, if you're thinking if about. Not, if, I'm not from, if I'm not mistaken, rather, don't. Atheists don't, don't believe in don't shit. Don't Hindu people pray like multiple times a day, if I'm not mistaken? 
I know See, Muslim, we, I know Muslims do. We're gonna go that far. But I thought there, I thought there was like a similarity. there. We're not gonna go that far into it. I just want to know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Hey, I don't know. Please don't. Please don't. Please do not listen to me because I don't know the ins and outs of everybody's religion. We're not gonna do them like that. We're gonna disrespect them like that. But. Can you be in a successful relationship with somebody who has different religious beliefs and practices than you? So say your religion celebrates Kwanzaa and whatever else. Right. The other person's religion celebrates Christmas and all of that. Like, right. can y'all be successful in a relationship? Kwanzaa is not a religious event. It's a, uh, I'm just saying, bro. Yeah. That's why I said, bro. Don't, it ain't black and white. Huh. We're not being black and white. Oh. Um. Hmm. Possibly. I say possibly. It got it, it kind of break down. Like I say, if you in a you know you look in a relationship, you got to look at what is the. That's like sound like one of those things that's like an incompatibility, and I think mm. it would cause a <clears throat> lot of stress and yeah. problems. What? Because yeah. you. What? Well, hold on. Wait. Wait. What would cause a lot of stress? The By, differences. The differences. In, the differences in belief. Okay. Uh, shit. I dated a girl that was an eight. Why the hell I do that? I I dated it. <laughs> they, well, I know I did it. <laughs> I know exactly why I did it. Thing is, that the uh, pussy was fire. That's what he said without saying it. That's what he said. That box, <laughs> bro. It's something about the box. I almost spit my drink through my nose, <laughs> something bro. Something about that box. <laughs> Damn, hey. about the box. Come hey. on now. <laughs> nah, but something I, I, I about would... that box on that Any atheist okay? woman. And it's you okay? the sweetest you okay? thing. It is the sweetest box mm -hmm. I know. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, hit that note. Yo. Ooh. So, so continue on, Josh. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Ooh. 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 I can't explain. Ooh, yeah. Nah, so I'm going to give you a perfect example, right? So we're at Subway and Walmart. This is back when there was a Subway and Walmart, oh, right? Damn. And I'm sitting with this. Damn, this lady, son, where'd you find lady. that? Damn, son. <laughs> <Where'd you laughs> find that? Dramatic, it was dramatic, in my dad's dramatic. Attic. And I'm sitting there, and you know, I pray on my food. I don't know what these people been doing. This is before okay. COVID, anything, but like, I'm, I'm praying on my food. Okay. So I'm sitting there praying on my food, and she's just sitting there, like, wait, like, come on, nigga, like, bitch, I'm trying to get to this. I'm fucking trying to eat this foot long, bro. What's up with and you? And I look across the shoulder of her. Uh -huh. And I see these two elder people, okay. and they were super elder, okay. like they kids were grandparents. But elder, anyways, elder. and they were praying, they was holding hands, and that was the moment I looked at this young lady and I said, "This ain't gonna work." This ain't it? Why? I'm get a couple smacks out of this, and then I got to move on. Why? Because they all praying? because he could not pray with her over his food. I'm just saying, I, okay. I understand. I, I my mind traveled. Okay, and it it showed us at an old age of. Mm -hmm. A lot of you hear this thing? shit <laughs> that wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> I would say Christmas. You <laughs> would say Xmas. Nigga, nigga, he gonna try to pray over the food. She just gonna start laughing at him. <laughs> <laughs> so, with the evil Who laugh. Who you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You're Who talking you talking to? to? No <laughs> Her head gonna spin around and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, I had that. all this shit. <laughs> Some exercise. Bart, what's up, man? Oh, fam, fam. She fam, gonna fam. do what she wanna do. Well done. <laughs> She gonna uh, believe what the fuck she wanted to believe. I don't, I don't know that that's applicable in this particular <laughs> she instance. Gonna, she gonna believe what she wanna believe. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's to a degree that's true. Yeah, that's but true, I mean, yeah. come on, Bart. Nah, man. I mean, um, yeah. I think I think it's possible to, to work something out. I think it just depends on like what everybody's like viewpoint is, and like you said, the extremity right. of it. Like, how extreme is this person? Are they like mm. anti? You know, anything like that? Because. Uh, my my wife and I don't believe the same way. I feel, uh, you know, she's had a, she's had, you know, a, a, I, I run the risk of, you know, putting our business out there, but I won't say too much. She's had a really negative experience with the church. Um, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. growing up, her parents were maybe a little more impressionable. Um, when right. they were first getting here, and you know, um, a lot of the times when you're more impressionable, you do some wild shit, uh, even when you don't necessarily agree with. It. So all in, like I said, uh, she didn't have the best experience. Uh, you know, coming, coming into like the church and stuff like that. Cause she grew up in, uh, whereas, you know, I'm on the completely other side of the spectrum. I had the best experience, man. Some mm. of my best friends, you know, growing up was from, uh, from my church family and stuff like that. You still and attend church? No. You, you attend because church? Because I don't believe, be, 
Do you attend church? I don't believe in organized religion in a high level like that. Like, I don't believe in the sense, I don't necessarily believe that, you know, God is frowning upon me because I don't spend every church, every Sunday in a building with these other people who are, are looking to speak to Christ in the same way that I am. I believe that Christ is with me everywhere that I go. Uh, so because of that, I don't necessarily have to subscribe to the idea mm. of, of gotcha. you know, coming to a building and doing... He, he fellowships with me everywhere that I'm at. Mm. Yeah. So, so why am I church subjected? Yeah, why church, am I subjected to only meet him here? Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's where I gotta <laughs> go to meet Christ. Mm. I don't believe that. So because I don't, I don't go to church regularly, rather, for that mm. matter. It's not that I won't ever go. Right. And for that matter, even though my wife has had a negative experience with church, Mm-hmm. She is all for me taking my kids to it. Okay. All for me, you know, you know, again, with my monetization. I right. watch this. I control this situation, and I don't let what happened to her happen to them. Mm-hmm. But she trusts me mm-hmm. to be able to handle that, even though it's not necessarily something that she's willing and ready to, to do herself. Right. She's still trying to kind of put the pieces of the puzzle together and find the answer. So... With that in mind, like I said, we have an agreement. And much like any other part of a relationship, that's what it takes. You got to have an agreement. And if you don't got that, just fucked up. Facts. All right. Josh, go to church. I speak to God in public. Yeah. I speak to God in public. <laughs> the same nigga that was mad, his girl wouldn't pray with him, said, <laughs> Yeah, I'm be in there like that, dog. You know, what right. I mean? it don't nah, go like I'm that not, for I, me. I, I'm not in there, but I'm believing. <laughs> I believe in God for sure. And uh, I think what what would happen, let's say in this particular view of question that we have, where you have this person that if they send people with two different beliefs, let's say this uh-huh. specifically where you have somebody that is really deep into Christianity. Let's just use Christianity for example, right? Uh-huh. They real deep into that, and then you get this other person that's a polar opposite. Are you ready for Jehovah's return? <laughs> right. But listen, listen. Are you, you ready person, for the, Jehovah's the t- polar return? Opposite, and I'm pretty sure the person is a Christian. They gonna start, especially they deep into it. They gonna start singing to him. Doom, 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 doom. Take what you want. Doom, 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 doom. Take everything. <laughs> Guess I feel who's you. Going to jail. I no, feel you. guess who's going to hell tonight? Guess who's going to hell, to hell tonight? Not jail. Hell. <laughs> guess who's guess going to hell? Going so look, to so look, man. Let me, let me, let me, let me get my input on this. I got to get my input on this. So, religion is so open now versus from when we was look, we was little kids, mm-hmm. because now we the generation that got to see people growing up, and mm. all of a sudden the shit changed, right? Because our parents and grandparents and shit, because we the generation, our grandparents, our grandparents and, and parents and shit. Get remix. Our grandparents and parents <clears throat> just grew up and they didn't have access to a lot of knowledge and education that we have, bro. Mm. So you got people these days and they learn shit and they learn and they might have grew up in the Baptist church or a Christian church or whatever right. and they start meeting other people and seeing other things on the internet or reading other books and, and all of that. So then their beliefs and shit start to get questioned. Right. So now they question <clears throat> the religion. Now it's like, <clears throat> I, I grew up with a white Jesus on, on the wall in my church. That I'm is, black. That is the sickest shit. I'm black. Is how, is, black how is Jesus white? So, so, so. I haven't seen Jesus how was in a, every race now. How, I haven't seen how was a man, black Jesus. I haven't seen Asian Jesus. Man. How was a man post Pangea born into Born into the Middle Bronze East, skin, white, wool hair, with European blonde hair, hair and blue eyes. Listen, man, how was a man born in December? Because I'm not, I'm not, gonna, I'm not, gonna, I'm not. Gonna, <laughs> no. Listen, I'm not, I'm not gonna go that deep into it. We can, but I'm not. Have, have you ever been to a black Catholic church? Hold on, wait. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a whole new ball game, baby. So look, <laughs> and I come from, I come, and from, they they turn up black and listen, with a do rag on. I come from, a, I come from a family of preachers, Back sporting ways that have church. They have churches and shit. Yeah. Sporting okay. ways. <laughs> my, my man said, Sporting I come ways. from a family of black preachers nah. that's got churches and shit. You yeah. Heard? Nah, for real, bro. Because I, I <laughs> literally grew up in the church, bro. Man, Eighty churches percent of the people they, they Mother, touch man, go to heaven. Man, you got motherfucking a good chance, churches, you heard? They close rate is good. 
Eighty percent go to heaven. They closers. Eighty <laughs> percent. You, you just in the church, be like, yeah, that's that's part of twenty over there. I no, can tell. bro. Mm. Like, like, Man, you look, look, all, right, all the bullshit aside. <laughs> me personally, keep me going, personally, bro. Keep going. Me personally, like the shit hit me when I was young, because I was in my op- huh. Yeah, damn there. The, the collection walk. play hit my ass. Hey, yeah, the, the, Holy Ghost the, collect, the collection play hit me. I think about it. <laughs> mama gave me <laughs> my look, look. Look, my mama slid me like three dollars. Hey, my mama slid. He just got the Holy Ghost. My mama slid me like three dollars. <laughs> Nigga look like breaking too, motherfucker. My mama slid me like three dollars. That collection play camera. I had to put them three dollars in there. I thought I was taking that shit home to the penny candy store. It didn't happen. Didn't happen. Anyway. Yeah, so look, get that to God. I'm literally in my grandfather's church. I'm like probably fucking seven years old. Okay. Now this this is when it really hit me. It's a picture of Jesus. Right. White Jesus. Was he looking at you? That's yeah. wild. People, white Jesus. Y'all really had white Jesus. I was seven things? I was seven years old, bro. Yeah. Now back now back when I was seven, mm-hmm. we didn't have no fucking pictures of black Jesus. Nowhere. Okay. We ain't even seen this shit. I don't know that there was a picture of Jesus in my church. That's what I, I guess yeah, I was confused. Yeah, it was the picture, but. but it was really Chester Ray Borgia. If y'all know who Chester Ray Borgia is, uh, look I him just, up. I nah, nigga, that was George Lewis. Michaels. Look him. <laughs> Same Michaels. difference. Was Same fucking difference. That was, that was George what? Michaels. Y'all bugging. <laughs> Bless y'all you with the name. They had a picture of George what? Michaels talking about Jesus. Uh, Chuck Norris. Uh, so look. So look. I'm seven years old in a black <laughs> church. I'm seven years old in a black <laughs> fucking Baptist church looking at a picture of Jesus and he white. Made no sense to me. So I'm just saying that to say this, bro. <laughs> These days, white Jesus. <laughs> these days, these days, bro. <laughs> white Jesus. Jesus. These days, religion is so open. So, so listen. Mm-hmm. So, what I'm saying is, like, people have their own beliefs, their own religion, their own practices. But I can't sit here and say this one is right. This one is right. Mm-hmm. This one is right. This one is right. I say, do your studies, learn what you need to learn, sure. read, and 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 do your research as you need to do. For yourself, <clears throat> yeah. But some, and then if it's a right, you, then it's a wrong. But you ain't can't, it? right? But you can't, you can't judge the next person to say, "Well, your shit wrong." For sure, so I'm gonna judge you for that. For sure. What's she gonna do? Hey, she, she gonna believe gonna what you want to believe. Wanna do. <laughs> and she gonna believe she what she want to believe. So I don't give a fuck if you fucking worship Goku from Dragon Ball Z. If I the like you, <laughs> first church of Vegeta face ass. But <laughs> if you pickle up, pickle up. If you, I don't give a fuck. Come if me, I fuck me. with you, I fuck with you. Come float. Special beam can. Don't don't care. <laughs> don't care. If you struck this. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> spirit bomb. Yeah. Hey, everybody put your spirit palms up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Church give a fuck. Go ahead. Call on if the energies of everyone around you. Hulk Hogan call from the, the WWF. From I the don't trees, care. the trees, the grass, everyone. I with you. <laughs> I fuck with you. Don't matter who the fuck And the was. voice oh, of the shit. prophet Piccolo. Oh, my God. <laughs> Turn with me, if you will, to the first book of Kakarot. <laughs> Chapter 7, verse 13. Yo. And I say unto thee. And second Barnock. <laughs> I say unto thee, Raditz, you have no place here. <laughs> I don't even have a brother. I don't even have a brother. <laughs> I'm an only child. I'm an only child. <laughs> I'm only child. I'm lost. Now here. So we do have a second view of question. Y'all need this question. Church of Vegeta. Let's start the church. Church of Vegeta. First church of Vegeta. Church of Goku. Man. First church of Vegeta. No, nah, the first church of Vegeta. I love that one. Vegeta. I want to be a member here. This is a magic place. I love it here. Oh Everybody just God. sitting on flying nemesis and stuff. Hell yeah, man. So your sayings are always welcome. So Josh, this, this, <laughs> so, so, this is this is this, you die. You just go this up view- to the, okay. <laughs> If you die, you just got to go see Master Roshi. <laughs> Kick it with him for a little bit the people until that somebody know, can wish you back. Bro, the people that don't know Dragon Ball Z is like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? I ain't one of the Cosby, the oh angle, the hell, man. Oh, my God. All right. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, sorry. You got it. Bro. Remind y'all. Oh, shit. Like. Share, comment. If you are a Dragon Ball Please. Z fan, you just had a fucking ball. Y'all with just us. had a fucking ball. You just y'all, had a if y'all fucking know anything about Dragon Ball Z, 
Y'all just had the time of y'all life just that now. Is a Don't lie. Fact. Wow. Sure, we probably, shit, we probably lost place. somebody. The women probably ran away. I'm women sorry, like, y'all. what the fuck are you I'm talking sorry, about? Y'all. Yeah, I, just, I'm I, had to, I had to go into that one. For my childhood, I had to go into that one. You don't get my fucking toes manicured. Second viewer question, though. We do have another. Uh-oh. Your man's Josh's man. Because it's Josh's man. Josh said, this is his favorite person on that show. Pivot Podcast. Okay. I might have to eat these words. Channing. Your man's Channing is back. back again. He back again. Circle the block. Circle <laughs> the block. He back talking about Saquon in an interview. He's mm. basically like, yo, I can't stop staring at your thighs. They're so sexy. Oh, my God. You have the best fucking legs in the world. Thunder thigh. Thunder thigh. Oh my God, you're so sexy. I can't believe it. Bro, now, <laughs> there comes a time where you have to draw a fucking line, bro. Do you want the D in or around your mouth at this point? Because now, yeah, we're around. now, what the fuck are we doing, bro? What are we doing? You know what? Here I am. I'm back again to defend this guy. <laughs> please, <laughs> like, please, please. We're not going to let you do this. It's please give me something. Okay. Have you seen Saquon's thighs? Pretty massive. I wasn't I'm turned on saying. or attracted. No, no. He it's was. not about being Sa- turned on. It's Saquon. about stating the obvious. Sa- Saquon has immaculate legs. The legs are kind of massive. Immaculate. Listen. I'm just saying. Hey. So, so let me t- if you, I'm tell if you, you another- were going to like draw like perfect legs, like you would probably need to pull inspiration from right. Saquon. Because yeah, now look at his ass. This just, the, just the quad. They gay. This <laughs> <is episode. laughs> Your ass. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but look, look. So I, I give you another. Yo, I another. what the I got fuck? a homie. L- listen, listen. I got a homie. Josh, come on. Listen, come I got on, a homie. I'm not out here checking it. out guys' ass and thighs on, and shit like that. But listen, I got a homie. He's a bodybuilder. Mm. Massive quads, right? Mm. So I had to ask him one day, right? I went up to him. Fuck you, feeding him things. You said, Josh. I, I, I asked Josh. Him, you thick as fuck. No, that's not what I said. You thick, I just pretty you much thick said, as fuck. I, I like them yams. Said, them yams is so sexy. Now, if I'm sitting there saying that shit to you, you cool you with that, right? Yams? Uh, no, that don't work. For exactly. You. So what? What? Because I'm saying. Because what are you about to? What are you about to say? I pretty much said, how How do you find fan, pants that fit? Because this is actually this is actually a problem that you people... said you was taking off oh, saying this. No, no, I actually asked this guy. No, that's true. I'm a person when you're... that ha- I come from the thick thighs. I had thicker thighs, bro. When your when your waist is was, like of a I certain thick. Josh, when your waist I'm is asking, like you said, no, I'm no, not, no, no, no. Listen, this, is, listen. this is this is a legit this problem. Is when your waist thing. is like a certain size, like if you have a particularly smaller waist because you're thinner and your thighs are like a little bit bigger, that's like a real problem, bro. This is a problem. That's a real fucking problem, especially for these people that's working out. Because what you have to do, you have to get What did pants. I just find out about my friends? That I got a small waist <laughs> and thick thighs? Nigga, they, the like, they like niggas' thighs. Y'all like niggas' thighs? Nigga, I said me, me. <laughs> I have the that. problem. <laughs> shit. I mean, when you're an athlete. That's why I'm glad I'm losing Josh, weight. Shit. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> back, of this shit. Be, retract, 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 Bart. <laughs> you just said you was about to take up for Channing. Right? Yeah, come on. I'm taking up. How you taking right up for him? He, he coming for you. He said he, he, he said he had don't beautiful cut that thighs. Man you ain't mentioning none of don't this. Don't cut shit. that man off. Let him he coming full he, circle. He coming full let circle. Let me finish. So the guy, I'm I'm asking the guy, I said, Well shit, how the hell you even find pants that fit? The nigga probably wore a 28 waist. God damn. Right? A little bitty. But had fucking his legs was just as big as his waist. And he said pretty much he had to get twenty eights around. He had to twenty eights around. He had to get the pants tailored. He probably had to get forty five waist to get them legs in there. Get the pants tailored to fit them. So, <laughs> going back look, to Shannon, bitches probably look like more fucking. <laughs> you know how them little bum ass uh, jogger jeans look at the bottom. The niggas be wearing where it's all bunched up and shit. That's how his fucking waistline look <laughs> on his pants and shit. Let me shit's whack. Cut that shit out. Y'all gotta stop. But anyways. Going back to Shannon, right? No, nah, I can't even defend that. Shannon be bugging Thank you. That's all I want to say. That's all I want to hear. God damn, because I was going to I was on your ass, bro. I was on your ass. God Ooh, I was damn. on my ass, but not my thighs. <laughs> not your thighs. I went on your thighs. I was uh, on them yams, nigga. <laughs> 
I was on a maybe, fucking may, yes, Maybe bro. you this niggas do need to know, say pause. But anyways, let me get my shit yeah, off real fast. Maybe y'all pause. do. Maybe y'all do. It's not me. Hey, let maybe y'all, y'all tell do. it. It's cool. Y'all... I'm a grown ass man. Come on, Bart. And I love vagina, nigga. Ain't no, I ain't got to say no pause. Anyways, um, like I was saying before, though, as far as this gentleman goes, uh, he's done multiple cornball shits to me in the past. But this, I won't, I won't add this to the list. Um, I will say this. It sounds a bit, he probably found a niche, bro. What happened was he saw them views go up when he was, you know, flirting with uh, the last nigga he was flirting with. And he said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to flirt with every nigga that come through this podcast and I'm going to send these views through the roof. Everything is a fucking part of a rollout or a part of a fucking advertisement marketing nigga. I know what you niggas is up to. All right. Because it got to be that. I get it. We all in the content game, baby. I'm marketing too, baby. It got to be We all in this shit together. It got to be that. Appreciate the content, musical. by the way. We all in this together. It has. Yeah, it's me and you. I understand. You got to do what you got to do to get these views up, baby. I get it. I, I get that. But I'm saying I've been watching this nigga for years now. Like at least men? over a year. <laughs> Just Maybe he like niggas, shit. bro. Whatever. Do your thing. He just says some shit that's just so He doing it on purpose at this point. But I'm saying he been doing that though. This is not like a new it's, thing. It's one or two things. It just gosh. caught. It's literally it's one just or two things. On fire, it it's like you want the D in around your mouth. Or you just saying shit just because you're gonna know you're gonna go viral. Imagine right before going on there, he like, I gotta talk about his thighs. Yeah, that's what he's doing. I'm gonna be Imagine honest with that. you though. As a completely straight man who only likes vagina, like I have, there I'm. There's a spectrum, you hey, know, Channing. when it comes to sexuality, and I'm like way on the side that just likes vagina. <laughs> right, hundred percent. If I came across Saquon Barkley, I might tell that nigga he has immaculate legs because he has fucking no, immaculate no, legs. No, 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 like, no, no, I don't... no, 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 no. What are you gonna say? Well, I can't stop staring at your thighs. No, They're I so wouldn't say no shit like and you're, that. And because... You're sexy, and I just can't stop. I'm. But, but I like. But I like only sure. vagina. I think this nigga has has been clear about the fact that he's bisexual, right? No. Am I wrong? No, no, no. 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 See, whoa. Why? No, because so... he ain't did that. He ain't no, did but, that. But, he but ain't that's, said but that's not that even yet. it. What, what if we look into it? Well, has deeply? he alluded to it? No. no Are you sure? That's the no, point, no. Bart. What, what, good, what if we look at it? What? Like I thought y'all said he was at like no. nudist colonies, like looking at Yeah, but he, he ain't saying him and his wife like being around naked people. Yeah, well, maybe that, he ain't never alluded maybe to him bisexual. I don't know, man. Maybe I just be I mean, reading. Just come on out and say the shit. My observation of Shannon is that he's a real observative type of person and he pretty much going to say everything that's on his mind. So okay. if he's looking at the man's thighs, it's because let, let's just take let's take it let's make it not. I let, can't wait let's to, make it less. I can't wait until Josh hang out with him. To Shannon, yeah. What are you gonna say about me? Hey, you gonna you might say some shit, and then you are gonna come back and be like, "Yo, this he nigga gonna, he, gonna, he, gonna, he gonna like your dimples." Okay, how about this? You got some dimples, cause you get on the Pivot podcast, right? You got some dimples. You get on the Pivot podcast. You, right? you, the pivot podcast. Uh-huh. you walk off the set, you get no compliments from Shannon. How you gonna feel? I don't want no compliments. From Everybody Shannon. damn, got compliments. damn, cuz I ain't got no defining feature about me. That's y'all sound like Charlemagne. God damn, <laughs> y'all sound like Charlemagne when he be when he, when gay motherfuckers come on there and they be like, so you and he be like, you don't think I'm attractive? They be like, nah, you ain't my type. He be like, what the fuck? What you mean, like, bro? No. There you go. Here you no. go. Couple oh, <laughs> Yo, <laughs> man, move on to the next question. Bro. We ain't gotta do this right now. <laughs> we ain't gotta do this right now. Don't get it, don't get it. Sam, man, come sweep this nigga off stage, bro. <laughs> Come sweep this nigga off the stage. Yeah. This nigga's wilding right now, bro. He's wilding. Josh God damn. In rare form right now. Not Get that tequila away from him, sir. Move that bottle. God damn. <laughs> it's a shame. So, now. we got one last question before we get the fuck up out of here. Okay. Oh, one more time. like to remind y'all. Like our shit. Share our shit. Comment on our shit. Subscribe. Obama. Obama. So look, last question, right? Viral again hmm. after the Mega Tron slap that Will Smith delivered. <clears throat> delivered <laughs> he to Chris Rock. Delivered. <laughs> to Chris Rock. Who y'all think the smack hurt worse? It's not funny, so stop it. Will or Chris? You said what? Who y'all think the smack hurt worse? Will or Chris? I actually don't think it hurt any of them. Actually, you don't think so? 
Actually, it definitely didn't hurt Will. You know how Will twisted his actually it had to be Chris. He, he twisted his fucking waist. I don't know, bro. Had to be Niggas got teeth. Will oh, Smith's in shape. Actual, teeth hurt. Will Smith's in shape. It hurt Chris worse. Nigga, you can't lift weights with your hand. That nigga nah. teeth to hand. He Damn. might have that hurts. That. Yeah, and Chris it's Rock just like got punching niggas. niggas. Niggas love punching niggas, right? But keep challenge. it a buck. Any nigga that didn't punch the nigga in the mouth, you know. Oh, that, that's no, teeth, no, my that's nigga. Different. That's, that's different. Teeth. Nah, that's, that's, that's teeth. Hurt. That's teeth. That's teeth. But, but for a slap, it ain't gonna hurt. Niggas love the, the idea of punching people until I mean, you start punching but people. But no, listen, you listen, listen, listen. listen I'm gonna, let, let me get into it, bro. All right, straight. My bad. I'm going a different direction. I can't fold my legs, but I'm trying. Let me get back into it. Okay. So, Pepilates did not help you. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga got no zen. No zero, zen. Zero not, zen. Not, not, in his, not in his fucking gamer chair that my, that my producer gave me. Not in this chair. Not in this chair. Hey, don't Maybe sleep, I'm going to sit on a pillow don't next Don't sleep, bro. Next I got episode. one in the crib. I'm, I'm, they're going to sit in the chairs next. I'm going to sit in the pillow next episode. So, look. So, look. Sandbag. The mega slap that Will Smith delivered. He smacked that can be heard across the Rock. nation. After this bum ass title, Chris Rock is viral again because he denied doing the next year's Oscars after his crazy event. I have a question behind this. Mm. He denied it. They offered it to him. He denied <clears> it. <throat> Got a question behind this? Um, if you get slapped at work, is that fucking up your bag? <laughs> <laughs> like, so let, let, let's first just go how, how this go if I'm at work and somebody just walked in my cubicle tapped me on the shoulder slapped your ass at your, ch- at your chair <laughs> ring motherfucker <laughs> 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 I knocked the whole keyboard and some Bro. more shit I'm like yo I feel so alive <laughs> yo <laughs> just Bro, stop the off your head. Head. who Bro. needs coffee when you get smacked like that <laughs> I'm ready like, to do some shit Nah, if somebody smack me at work, I'm going Charleston White on the ass. <laughs> you gonna snitch? I'm gonna snitch. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna be get. I'm gonna be paid. I ain't gonna have to do hey, shit else. Hey, Charleston White, love when niggas do dumb shit at work because he was like, I sue about my job every time. I was sue the fuck. Maybe you left your DNA right there. I'm, it's easy to. It's easy to read. I, it's the print right there. Cause this is a lot, bro. This this is what was the question again? You said that is, <laughs> is getting smacked at work gonna fuck up your bag? Is, if, if you got attacked at work, is that gonna fuck up your bag? You gonna be scared to come back to work? It's gonna help my bag. Scared, scared, scared. I'm scared gonna be of there. who's scared of you. I'm scared of who's scared of you, nigga. I will lay your ass out, <laughs> Timo Cruz, nigga. <laughs> what? Westside Cruz, yes. Cruz. Hello, tight. This nigga got Hella PTSD. Tight. Every time this nigga hears summertime, summer, 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 this nigga, this nigga hide in the bush. This nigga couldn't even enjoy this nigga the wake song up and call summertime splits after this slap. Nah, bro, bro we got to hey, talk about listen, something real. Bro, hey, listen, for real, bro. <laughs> we got to talk about something real. Did y'all hear the song Summertime at any point during this summer? They ain't play it. Bro, they tried to black But guess what? If I was a DJ, I would have played that shit just because I knew Chris Rock was in the Are building. you fucking kidding me? You would have played I'm going to turn this bitch upside down. I'm going to turn this bitch upside down with that shit. That is a fucking smash. You are bugging. No, you. This nigga, this so nigga raps so good on that time. song. They tried to lie and say Ro- Rakim wrote his raps. This thing came out saying Rakim didn't write shit. Man, that was me. Man, always wrote his own shit. <laughs> bugging, bugging. But nah, um, is that fucking up y'all bag, man? Like, are y'all okay? I don't think so. I don't think so for nah, me, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, not I mean, for me neither. The bag, man. I mean, I'm gonna come back and get this money, and I'm gonna make sure that you know I'm not uncomfortable at any level if I get smacked at the gig. That's kind of wild. I'm not gonna stunt, but like I, I'm, I'm probably gonna find a way to make sure that either you're not there anymore, or I'm just not. No, gonna I'm be not getting slapped at the gig. Sorry, stop, bro. I didn't even no, know that be- was an option. You can't, you, you <laughs> can't, you can't yeah, present that as an option <laughs> after we. You can't present oh, that as an option oh, after we didn't already I'm win. I'm tearing some shit up. I get slapped. Can, can you, you gonna try to slap just me at the gig? At the cube, right? I week, ain't even gonna allow you to do it. This week one after you get slapped at the gig. Week one, you just, yeah, you're just at the cubicle. <laughs> Everybody, God damn it, Jackie, you can't just come <laughs> you up with like that. You got PTSD. You got, you got post traumatic stress the disorder. Little male, the little male lady come on to you. Got a little. God damn it! Get the fuck up, bro. What's wrong with you? Can't I'm, walk up on me like that. I'm taking the rest of the day off. I'm already trying to work. You were just running up on me. I just you Shut had up, a, just, no. just you trying had to make mail. a living, 
Damn it! You had some mail from the mail room. I just thought you wanted the mail. Yo, that's funny because I got people at my job walking up give me mail every day. That's funny. <laughs> you and I be in my and I, and I be in my headphones show. trapping. No, you be on I'm the thinking internet. Big meat, huh? <laughs> Larry Hoover, and they be walking up handing me mail. I be like, what the fuck, bro? I'm selling a brick right now. Man, I don't need no fucking mail, bro. What's wrong with you? What the fuck me? is wrong with you, bro? But what did American Express have to say? Let's see. Yeah, this shit is crazy, bro. But stay y'all stupid ass off the fucking internet. We'll be back next week. Back up. Love y'all.